Hello and welcome to Magic the Gathering Arena. I am your host, Dark Master, for Dark Master Series Gaming. Now I've got to apologise a little bit. The last video that I recorded was me coming from uh, Bronze Rank 2 up to Silver Rank 4. Now, um, the recording didn't capture properly, so all you got was m me talking into the mic as I was winning matches and there was no actual action uh, on the screen it was just the obs stream labs um screen uh, for some reason it hadn't captured the the footage properly so i apologize for that um i'm going to continue with the avenging angels deck we're going to play the standard ranked match and we're starting from silver tier four and the whole aim of this is to get as far through the rankings as we possibly can um, before the end of the month when the rankings are apparently, I think the um, reset, um, I think you drop just a little bit, your rank deteriorates just a, a tad. So we'll see what happens and um, we'll just see if, how far we can get with um, these beginner decks and when we stop winning matches that's when we know we need to have more cards make our own decks and um, hopefully I can do just as well as I did in the last video and um, but you never know the further through the ranks that we get and um, the harder the matches are going to get so here we go anyway without further ado I'm going to head into the fray Yeah, let's go. It's putting us up against platinum rank people, I think. I think that's platinum. Anyway, not to worry. We've got a couple of bounding golds. We'll stop there. Creatures attacking. Another cleric. Um, we'll put that out first and then we'll put the expedition here to there next. Death touch. Yeah, thought it'd be death touch. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Gold this one. Uh, we'll go three threes. We'll attack these. Creature we control. We'll do the healer. We'll attack the seven. Has he got something up his sleeve? Nope, he gives up. Well, there's a victory for us. Our first victory. So. Allure of the Unknown. Reveal the top six cards of your library and opponent exiles an unland card from among them. Then you put the rest in your hand. That opponent may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Okay. Okay, so um, what do you guys think? Do you think that this um, Avenging Angels deck is quite OP for being a free deck and being a beginner deck as well? Obviously we got it from um, Redeeming Accord. Or do you think that it's um, well matched? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you've got to say about it. 
And we're just keep going to keep continuing. Okay, so we've got Skimfire, Shadow of Sage. Um, each opponent loses X life, or you gain X life. Um, it depends on what creatures you control that have the creature time in common. Tabarak's Hope's Demise. Life link, as long as there's five or more 1 1 counters. Um, when a non token creature you control dies, put a 1 1 counter on him. Closing statement we can use this for two less during our end step. We can destroy target creature or planes what we don't control, put a 1 1 counter on up to one target creature we control. Exhibition healer, expedition healer, sorry, um, has life link as long as you control another cleric. We're going to go with this. Get the silver quill compass out. We don't have anything we can get. Just useful just one mana. Shut the healer out. And get Tabarat out as well. Or do we want this? No, we'll get Tabarax out. Yep, we'll attack with this. This looks like it might be a mono life gain deck. Expected a card like that. We don't need to foretell this. Maybe we don't need the mana for anything else, so we might as well just get him out. He's got haste, so he can attack straight off the bat. Um, you know what? Going full whack. Let's hope he exchanges for the No, he doesn't. Would have been nice if he did. We get Tabarax with an extra counter there if that did happen. He gains life, they gain counter reach. He's going to attack with them, but I'm going to defend with the Expedition Healer. Okay. Now I'm not going to defend with the Expedition Healer, but I am going to defend against this one. Draw a card. Um, if that creature was a cleric, you may draw a card. If you do, you lose one life. Yeah, okay, we'll draw a card. We'll lose, lose a life. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's have a look. What can we do? We'll get this out because that's going to help us in the long run. We'll chuck this out as well because we can. Right, we haven't gained four life there, so doesn't matter. Right, we're just going to attack with these because we can. Keep the pressure on. Can get this out next. Okay, so he's okay. No blocks. Take the eight damage. Right. What can we do here? Um. Well, that's got a life link, so we get a bit of life back off that. We're attacking with all of these here. We we'll grind him down.
Okay, no block. Right. Uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to gain life or do we want to take life? Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna gain life. Don't want to use this because we can get killed with it. But we can use this. We'll leave it for defence though. No attacks this time. And see what he wants to do. We'll get another Vengeful Reaper out then. We've got um, Death Touch on two. So he's put indestructible on them. Okay. Um, let's see. What's the one that we want? Don't want to keep. So what can I do next turn? I can do. If I only defend with um, one, I survive. So um, I can do what? Two, four, six, eight damage. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. Is that it? Uh, let's think. Can we win? We want the death touch. Um, we'll do this one, and we we'll stop. We'll stop the angel. We'll block. Stop on our end step, we can kill a, a creature. Uh, and we want to kill this one here with the claws and stasms. Oh no, we need five, we need five mana, so we can't do that. Um, unlucky Mazda. So, what are we going to do here? Has any of them got haste? That's got haste. Ten damage. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, let me just think. Is there any way that we can? Right. Okay. So if we don't attack with these, we can get two two life back. I mean, it makes no difference really. Um. Sacrifice three three cards here. Or two at least. Two at least. Okay, so Uh, 
Um, two cards to right. So we'll get rid of this one. And we need a flyer to defend, don't we? Uh, what other flyer have we got? It has to be one of these, doesn't it? Okay. Unless... Oh, we'll... We'll do that one. And we'll block with these two. Decline, because we don't want to lose a life. Decline, because we don't want to lose a life. I did that for. Two, four, six, eight. Still only got eight. Hmm. <laughs> oh man. This is this is be this is hard. Um Don't think we can win this one. So if I get four life back here, it puts me on six. So I need to defend with two. Um, defend with those two. And then use a closing statement. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We're going with these two. We'll see how it pans out. That's okay. I'm going to waste one of his cards there. Okay, so... We can actually win this now. So if we go to this one and stop with this one, he does five damage and then we can do six damage, right? We can do eight damage. So I think that's us one. Wow, that was a tough battle. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to win that one, but uh, we did. Um, yeah, you can congratulate me in the comments. <laughs> wow, I really think about that one. There's one of our quests complete. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah, it looks like we've got a decent-ish start in hand. A couple of quick... We'll go for the swamp, then the plains. We'll get the cleric out. And then we'll get the expedition healer out.
Is that an angel? No, it's a vampire. So we'll get the cleric out. Oh, what's this guy got here? He's got some funky swamps. It's a nice pet a bit. Whenever another cleric enters the battlefield, okay, yeah, so this is another cleric. It's got vigilance. It gives that lifelink, so that's okay. We're not gonna attack because he can actually kill that. And we're just gonna put all these down and hopefully he doesn't bump any of the ones that we need to keep. Probably gonna bump that one though. So eventually I am actually going to get a webcam and I'm going to um, put my face out there for the world to see. But that's only if I gain more subscribers, I gain more likes, subscribes, it's my little way of ticing you into my web. So if you're liking the content so far, yeah, please like and subscribe. Eventually, um, if I get enough um, followers on the channel, uh, I'll be doing prize giveaways, um, depending on which game I'm playing. You know, eventually it's going to be worth you guys um, commenting and liking the content. So uh, please bear that in mind for the future. And we're just going to let this guy hit, hit us for three. We've got some life gain in our deck, so it's fine. Nope. We're leaving it out and we'll get a swamp. We'll get this Valkyrie, Valkyrie out. Get another one out so it gets bumped up a bit. Um, you know what? We might as well just attack to keep it, keep the pressure on. And when um, the rankings do reset, yeah, I'm going to um, class that as the next season. So. You'll be seeing uh, S2 on the video intro screen. Now, what did that just do to me there? He's got Ayara, first of the, what, Locked Wayne? Whenever Ayara, first of Locked Wayne, or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Okay. We've got another one of these clerics, so... Do we put that out, or...? Yeah, we'll put that out. Here. Uh, we're going to put this out just for, for giggles. Because we want to overwhelm our opponent. Oh dear, oh dear. He's got something that he can destroy one of these.
think we attack with all the flyers. Two, six, nine, thirteen. We'll leave that one. So he's going to go for the Cleric of Life's Bond. But then that's his party trick used. Take eleven off next next turn. Now, if we get uh, the right creature token, we can bump everything up by one. So. Right, he's just going to try and cheese it. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to, che he's just trying to cheese it now. It's not going to work. So what have we got here? Two, four, six. 10, 15 and that's the game and we'll say good game okay and we have ranked up we are now silver tier 3 Let's see what we get here. We've got back for more. We've already got this card. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Okay, we'll claim that prize. We've almost leveled up here as well. Okay, so we are now silver tier three. I've enjoyed playing those battles. Um, we had a really close match. Um, you know, the second match was really close. I can't believe we actually won that still so you know that was a uh, super brain moment and um, there was smoke coming out my ears the lot you should have seen it um yeah <laughs> thank you for staying with me for the entire episode next episode I'm going to keep continuing um through the standard ranked matches and we're going to see how far we can actually get through you know through the the rankings um silver tier three is not going to be our final destination um we have got what 13 14 days left until the new month um apparently um your rank deteriorates just a little bit each month so we expect to drop down just a little bit but not by much and we'll just keep continuing and seeing how far we can get until we need to actually um use our gold to buy new cards and create new decks and as always, if you have liked the content, please like and subscribe to my page. It is greatly appreciated. And until next time, I've been your host, Dark Mazda, for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. And that's goodbye for now.